G'day everyone, my name is Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. Now this is a song that sounds complicated, but when you break it down, it's really not that hard at all. So in this version, I'll be teaching you a very simplified version. It's not going to have every single embellishment or detail that Ed Sheeran uses live, because every time he plays it live, he'll play it differently. However, I'm showing you the core of this song, and by the end of this video, you'll know how to play the whole thing. So for the basics, you'll just need your guitar and standard tuning. Now this song's gonna be all finger picked, and for this song, you'll need to know six chords. The six chords are D, D slash F sharp. Now you can play this in two ways. You can play it with your thumb, so that F sharp note can be just hit with your thumb. But if you can't do that, then what you can do is you can use your index finger to hit that second fret of the sixth string. Then use your second middle finger to hit the second fret of the third string and your ring finger will play the third fret of the second string. And that's D slash F sharp. Then we have G. We have E minor. B minor. And then A. Now for this A, what we're going to do is just going to take our index finger and bar the second fret of the fourth, third, and second strings. And that's how we're gonna play the A. That top E string doesn't really need to be hit, so it can be muted, no worries. So before we get into this, I'd just like to note that the index finger should always be plucking the third string, the middle finger will always be plucking the second string, and your thumb will float between the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings, depending on what chord you're playing. So you need to be anchoring these fingers here to their designated strings. Now let's get started with the verse riff. And it's comprised of four chords. First chord is a D. The second one is the D slash F sharp. Third is the G. And the final chord is A. So, for our first hit, we're gonna be hitting the fourth string, third string, and second string all together at the same time, like that. One thing to add though, is that we'll be hitting it with our index finger lifted and we're gonna hammer on to the second fret there, like that. So after you hit that hammer on, you're gonna do a slap and then we're gonna hit our D slash F sharp. Now we're gonna hit the sixth string, which is the bass note of that chord, and the third and second string. And then we're gonna slap again. So, so far we have and then we're going to go to the G and again we're going to hit the 6th string with our thumb and we're going to hit the 3rd and 2nd string and then we're going to slap after that and then we're going to go to our A now the bass note for this A string is going to be the 5th string and we're going to be hitting the 3rd and 2nd strings again and then we slap after that now timing wise the slap is always going to be on the 2 beat and the 4 beat the 1st and the 3rd chord are going to be played on the 1 and the second and the fourth chord are going to be played on the end beat after the two. Now I'll just count and I'll play along to demonstrate. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And, four and. and the verse riff is as simple as that. Now one little thing you can add to that riff for the more experienced players out there is a hammer-on pull-off for the A chord. So when we get to the A, we hit the chord like normal. So the bass note, third and second string together. But then after that, we're gonna hit the fourth string with our thumb. And then we're gonna be doing a pick slap technique, which is where you slap, but at the same time you flick your finger so you can actually hit a note. And that note that we wanna hit is the third string. And at the same time that you slap and hit that third string with your index finger that you flicked you want to hammer on to the fourth fret and then pull straight off so i'll sound like this and one more time now after you've done that hammer on pull off you're going to hit that fourth string again with your thumb so that a chord will sound like this and one more time and in the context of the whole riff, it will sound like this. So to recap that technique again, basically what you're doing is just slapping, but at the same time, you're flicking your index finger 
to hit the third string. Now it's a very precise technique and it does take a lot of practice. It's something that John Mayer uses a lot in songs like Stop This Train and The Heart of Life. And it's a great technique to have where you wanna still have a percussive element, that slap on the four beat, but you wanna play a note at the same time. So that's it for the verse riff. Now we get to the pre-chorus. Now the picking and the slapping is gonna be exactly the same. So we're gonna be picking on the one beat and the end beat after the two, and we're gonna be slapping on the second beat and the fourth beat. Now there's four lines of chords that we need to learn here. So the first one starts with an E minor. And again, picking the ones, we're just gonna be hitting the bass note, which is the open E here. And we're gonna be plucking the third and second strings at the same time. So we have an E minor, A, and then D. So the E minor is held for one whole measure and the A and the D get split in the next bar. So we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... And that's the first line of chords. Now the second line of chords is just gonna be E minor and A. So one full measure for the E minor and one full measure for the A. Now again, the chords are plucked on the one beat and the end beat after the two and the slaps are always on the two and the four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's the second line of chords. Now the third line of chords is exactly the same as the first line, except the last chord is exchanged to a B minor instead of a D. So the third line sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And finally the last line of chords is E minor to an A7. Now with the A7 though, we'll strum that with all down strums to build up to the chorus. And that A7 gets strummed five times. So the last line of chords will sound like this. One. Now I'll just play that whole pre-chorus for you in full. And that's it for the pre-chorus. Now the chorus riff is exactly the same as the verse riff. So we have our D, D slash F sharp, G, and A. Now at the end of the chorus, there's a bunch of chords that gets tagged onto the end. There's seven chords in total. Those chords in order are B minor, A, G, D slash F sharp, E minor, A, and then D. And all together, in time, it'll sound like this. Now you'll notice the transition between the A to the D is quite quick. So one more time. And coming in from the chorus riff, it'll sound like this. There you have it, that's all the rhythm for Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud, which is a great song. Now it sounds a lot harder than it is, so make sure you give it a crack. Now a couple of things to remind you on, is that the slaps are always happening on the two beat and the four beat. The chords are also always being plucked on the one beat and the end beat after the two. The exception to that is in the pre-chorus where it builds up, and then the tag at the end of the chorus, of course. Now I'm just gonna be playing the first verse, pre-chorus and chorus, and there'll be a vocal track on top for some context. Make sure you try to play along and see how you go. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you up off your feet Will your mom still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you till 17 oh, Baby, my heart goes through for less Heart at 23 And I'm thinking about how People fall in love in mysterious ways 
So please do be aware, what I'm teaching you is the song in its most basic form, but it's going to be great for beginners who just want to play the song and don't want to be worrying about all the little fiddly bits. All the other extra rhythm, lead notes and embellishments you'll develop when you get better as a guitarist. But this is going to be really great for all those zero to hero guitarists out there. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you want to see more in the future, then please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave your thoughts, comments and questions and requests below. Any questions about guitar in general, I'm happy to answer below. So I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.